to J Talks, today's relationship show. All right, we're here with Lady K up in the top window. She's... <laughs> and, of course, you know, me, sister myself, soul. and... Oh, Sister Soul? Yeah, you just skip over me. Ladies first. Oh, ladies. Sister Soul, you did here. <laughs> oh. oh, Sister Soul. Yes. Sister Soldier. Yes. All right. And you all are joining us here today on J Talks Today's Relationship Show. All right. Uh, the reason why Lady K is up in the window up there is y'all see her. The cheeks. He trying, trying to say you look like Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Lady K made a vast move. Yeah. And uh, she moved to D.C. D.C. Trying to get up there with the president. <laughs> hey! Huh? Okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. So we do her vast satellite. Yeah. So we continue our show. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you already in DC rhyming. See, don't let DC get you. You get DC. Our show topic today is very interesting. I mean, they all are interesting, you know. But uh, today's show topic is the pros and cons of internet dating. The pros and cons of internet dating. Hmm. Okay. Are the good and bad? Maybe we could say it like that? Well, every time when I used to say they used to go on there. You used so. to go on there. I think everybody used to go on there. They you went on rent a date. They just don't ain't telling it. No, I don't. I didn't go on rent a date. I went oh. on get a date. Oh, get a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. And, and every time I go on there, and you see the pictures. Of them, why do pictures always look like a mug shot? Like they're a serial killer. Yeah. Or they just got out of jail. Then they talk about they want this and they wanted the woman to do that. Then when you meet them. They all they want is a booty call, so you scratch that one off your list. Yeah, you scratch that one off your list, and you go to another list. Okay, you see this one? He he he, the ugliest sin. But just because he make a little money and got a little things, he think he all that in the back of chip chip. His attitude is like, oh, you do what I say, do not as I do. Cause I'm the only one you gonna ever meet. This is your night in shiny I mean, I said nope. I ain't looking for a night nice shiny armor. Scratch him off the list. <laughs> so it's all like that. Yeah, it, I don't, you know, it yeah. really. It, but some people be so busy in their lives, they don't have time to meet other people. So they go to a internet. Yeah, they go to internet dates. That's true. And some people are. Uh, they want. And some people, not like, get this one. Some people want people who's out of town because everybody in town and know they you know that is that what it is so they go outside the town so they go try, outside they state they town try to find somebody is that what it is that's sometimes that's all the time. someone could be stepping out cheating on their girlfriend or wives and want somebody out there uh, they, you like you said the area. Uh, 
that's that's great. I'm all about baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, uh, how to find that one right for you? That one? No, I've been on oh. for since 2010, so apparently I ain't found nothing yet. It's, it's a bunch of them out there. Yeah, I'm sure. man, it's a bunch of them. You got like, and I, I think uh, they guess this this time. You got harmony. I think you know they 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 advertise on TV. I ain't talking about e Then we got they make certain ones. Mate they... matches. Match, uh, that ain't mate matches. Yeah, I just got mate, mate matches. It's match.com. And match.com. You got mate matches, match.com, interracial uh, mate, our interracial time. dating. Uh, our time. Our time. 50 and over. I mean, it's, it's about 100 of them. Yeah. Cupid Plus, Cupid.com. Uh-huh. Uh, it's more than 100,000 of them uh, out there. It's, yeah. It's and sometimes you The see social the, networks. Yeah, but sometimes mm-hmm. you see the same people on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they must be desperate, then. <laughs> I've been on this particular one. I've been on uh, since 2010, I think mm-hmm. it was. Yeah. Or 2000 and yeah, I think 2010, mm-hmm. and uh, and I did it only a certain area, and I do it out of states or nothing like that because I don't believe in out of state love. Cause, mm-hmm. You know what they say, absence makes the heart grow yonder. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't believe in long distance love love affair. Oh. Um, yeah. So I got on this one. You like believe in reaching out and touch, right? You like to be able to get the touch part when you reach out. Yeah, when I reach out, oh. I want to touch them all right. Yeah, I touch. But this particular one, I, he from he was from out of town as well. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna tell you what what he said he wanted to do to me sexually. And he was a white guy, so I just, I just reported him and deleted him. He was soliciting me. You know, it doesn't matter what I think whether that what race they are. I think disrespect is just disrespect. Yeah, he was soliciting me, telling he would give me so much money to have sex with him. Now, y'all know me. If it was here, I wouldn't mind. But it's way in New York, so (laughs) now I just (laughs) can't. No, but the money kidding. is the money is better here than it no, is in but, New York. Uh, it wasn't right. You can come try oh, to talk no. to somebody, and then you go solicit. That's that's right. that only that's disrespectful well, to I that know. person. Yeah. But it 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 is is very rude. It's very uh huh. When you talking mm. to someone, the first time when I'm talking to someone on the internet dating show, and the first time they come up sex, oh, I delete them real quick yeah. because to me that's telling me that's all they want. Now, what if you met him in person, like at Walmart, or and he talking about sex? And uh, even in the church, you can. I then I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even no more. I I wouldn't to him no more. There have been some testimonies. I don't know if anybody out there. We flashing our number on that on on the screen. If you uh, if you're willing, we'd love for you to call in on the show and 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 share some of your stories if you be willing to. (laughs) But I I can tell you there there have been some testimonies too that um. That I've heard where, uh, and this is just only where, where the, uh, a, a bad stories where the men, uh, men are bad. There's some about the women too, and uh, they, they they doing game playing too, huh? What you say, cat? Yeah. For sure. Oh. I mean, for sure. It's plenty of women out there that are using um, dating. Cat, could you take your headphones off for a minute so to see if we can hear you? Yeah, but the microphone is back, kind of bad. <laughs> Now she gotta put that big finger in the way. Right? Uh-huh. Oh, we love her anyway. Yeah, that's a big. Old... Okay, you sound you sound better now, but that's yeah. a big old finger right there. Yeah, that's a big finger. Uh-huh. Real big finger. Wow. Mm. Oh. Fix that. Fix that. She said the screen is what? <laughs> oh, that's your that's your that's a finger. That's your finger. Oh. Thank you. She got big hands. <laughs> that was she your she finger. She got big hands. 
<laughs> that was your finger, huh? Yeah. She be talking like Tyler Perry, man. That was like Tyler Perry. Come on, boy. Got big old hair. Got some big old hair. I'm going to tell you. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah. what's that again? Anyway. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. What about like all these categories that they put on us? You know like the people step on such as the promoter person you want to be. I always, I always say six feet over because I'm five eight. Okay, so I always say six feet over because I love for my heel. Because uh, when I went, <laughs> yeah, Troy being a jump, but they ain't like the part of jumping is the part of hanging on once you up there. But anyway, <laughs> you never know where your blessings might come from. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But, but you know what? It's um, yeah. And you you know you ask for a person six feet and over, and they give you somebody five nine, five eleven. I wear three four inch heels sometimes. So if I'm five eight, that's gonna make put me a little bit over six feet. So I want somebody that I can you know look eye to eye. But if he five seven and I got three four inch field, then I'm tapping him on top of his head, mm -hmm. looking down at him, you know, cause um, <laughs> shoot, if he five seven and I'm five eight, I'm still a taller him uh, even if I got gym shoes on. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gotta be over six, six feet. Mm. They could be five eleven, five eleven is cool. Yeah, five eleven on the west side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they do have the, they do have disclaimers. I mean, that's that, that is kind of interesting. Um. Uh, you know th that you said that because there's always that question, I, and I do hear a lot of complaints from people that say, you know, the the sites they don't, you know, they just not worth it, and this and that, and and actually, I I actually say that they is not the site. It's really not the site because the site does do what it does. It does, but I think people just fail. <laughs> fail to recognize what it's supposed to do, the site. And the site actually brings it to your doorsteps more quicker and a more mass of availability and options of people to choose from or sift through um, than, than the speed of if you were just walking in Walmart or going to the church praying the Lord, send you a mate that somebody walk up to you, you know, and all that. But still, you and, gotta go and, somewhere and, for the Lord to, to pray and, to the Lord and, to get you a mate. And, <laughs> you know, um, and because it, it does do that. 
Now, the site is not going to choose the person for you. Yeah, yeah, I know you have to make a choice. You yeah. have to see among several people, several, Those depending which one you, yeah, <laughs> no, uh, depending <laughs> which one, <laughs> depending which one you want. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you see them, mm -hmm. ugh, they not, if they're not the right one for you, then you, you know, kick them to the side, then you get get the site and, and, and find somebody else. But yeah, that's the. But I guess that's the chance you have to take when you're so busy to meet anybody, mm -hmm. to uh, get get anybody. But yeah, uh, what about the part um, where uh, you meet somebody online and um, you like this person and they get like three kids all from different mamas and you having a drama with them. I mean, not you having a drama, but they having a drama with them. And the minute they see somebody with a new girl, they done took out a new woman, they done took out, and then you face it with all this drama. Do you want to deal with that? I mean, this could be your ideal. I mean, he sees all this. He's your ideal man. He's got everything. Do you want to deal with that? I think that's that's a lot of the choice of the, of the individual. Uh, but I think what people okay. benefit, what's that? You say, play K. I think what people it's a choice. Is a choice. Do you agree to that? Right. Oh, yeah. It's a choice of the individual. Yeah. I, but, and, you know. Right. I, I, right. Yeah, yeah, you you do have to choose what you what you and you know a lot of people don't 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 take their ability. you know you know what we say on this show or at least what I say on this show so much if you ain't been medically determined as mentally re, you know inefficient I, I almost said mentally retired I, don't know, <laughs> I didn't double uh, <laughs> mentally in, in a deficient or mentally incapable. Now I'm talking about medical claims. A bunch of doctors that tested you, poked you in the head, put them scanners on you, you know, turned you into Frankenstein. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and so that means you are intelligent. And I love to test people when they, when, about, about it. just call somebody stupid. They'll turn around, I ain't, I ain't stupid. stupid. I'm more intelligent than you are. Okay, thank you. But that confirms how intelligent you are. That means you have every uh, availability and ability to reason, discern, and be rational about your choices. And many people, many times, people, right. they don't they don't use their intelligence. I mean, you know, you know um, I'm trying to keep from going and touching my ignorance. But uh, <laughs> yeah. but they don't they don't they just don't use their intelligence. And I, I, there was one case, a, a testi uh, testimony that um, I was talking to this one lady, and the very same thing that she was telling, that she raised her daughters up, you know, don't get in a car with strange men that you don't know, don't, 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 don't give up your telephone number, she turned right around doing the same thing mm. that she was telling her daughters, don't mm -hmm. do. Don't do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But well, my thing is, you know, I'm trying to be honest. Oh, Freddy, 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 yeah. Right now, Lady K. Yeah. You seem you talking like you some kind of special. <laughs> yeah, she is special. She, she is special. <laughs> no, it's the it's the uh, uh oh, yeah the microphone or yeah, something we, on your phone is it's we're gonna, it's going in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, TV land, y'all bear with us. We we we're gonna get Lady K on in here, but she's doing her best. I Right. Have in the air. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's that? 
better. It's better. Yeah, it sounds better, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, she gonna show us some love, really? really? It ain't, no, it ain't our fault. You sound like that. <laughs> Don't get mad with me. I went to DC, DC. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jeff, go have to. I just got an autograph signature from the president while she was Yeah, there. Jeff, go have to work that. Uh, uh, he uh, talking about he want the uh, autograph. Uh, uh, oh, okay, make your point. Yeah, we know that. We just can hear you. You know how. I'm glad I didn't hear that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, we have a uh, technical difficulties for the voice, for the sound. But we, we, but, we, uh, we, we do see we your gonna... bright, pretty face. Yeah. And it's Really nice, and you coming in good. Yeah. We just can't um, hear you too good because you fading out. I don't know if it's it's the speakers that he got here, or is it your phone? But well, right we, now, we get you straight. Yeah, we we'll get you straight. But for right now, for right yeah, for right now, yeah. we we you just we got you. We you just it. just bear with us because you're gonna yeah. fade in yeah. and out. You are gonna, gonna fade just a little you bit. Be, in. You sound like this. We, we gonna get your point in. Hold up, she sound like this. But <laughs> it, I, ooh, uh, it, I, so, uh, that's all I get about it. That's all I get about it. And you, know, uh, 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 yeah, sound like you having something wrong with your twitch or something. Oh, yeah. But it's just, yeah, it's just a speaker. <laughs> it's just a speaker. Yeah. But you know, in the, in the internet dating, um, you know, it, it it really is like I'm just saying, you know, the the sites really do do provide what it says it's gonna do. It does, and um, it you know, I guess I guess so far we've been talking about a lot of the cons, um, and I guess what the site does could be one of the pros because it does do that because you know, um. And I think that is a pro that it does bring, you know, if you're actually out there searching, if you're somebody searching uh, for uh, to see who might be a match or who might be a possibility, because, you know, there are some people out there in life that say, I'm so lonely. I wish, wish I had somebody. Man, don't nobody ask me out on a date uh, when I meet somebody. Uh, I get tired of just being around the house. Well, um, love yourself first, and then you wouldn't have that problem. I enjoy my uh, my singleness, mm-hmm. <coughs> and I, I enjoy because I can do the stuff I do coming in. And I do mm-hmm. don't have to ask nobody, don't have to cook nothing, don't have to share nobody to hear nobody snore. Wake up in the middle snore. of the night, fart and yeah, snore. fart and hurt. Oh, excuse me, baby, did you smell that? Like passing yeah. Uh-huh. Or snoring, and I can't sleep. Roll over, you know. So I kind of like my singer. I kind of like, uh, but every once in a while, yeah, you want that opposite. Uh, I don't say companionship, but you want to have a, a a decent conversation, a decent dinner with the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, you go there, you you do that. Every once in a while, you know, it will hit you. You might need a little tune up, so you gotta get that maintenance going. You know, and be friends, but you don't have to have, you know, committed relationship. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You have to have commit. But you still meet the weirdest people online, online. You day. can meet weird people just in life. I think, um, you can, you know, I've heard the same stories. Okay. Somebody met somebody at the club, or um, no, and I, I and you know, that. and I know. I think church folks sometimes think don't like what, what I say sometimes, but this is a. Do you remember? Like I said, we well, are in. We are in an informa- we are an informative show. Right. So, um, but and I just keep 
degree of, you know, folk out there. I, you know, that's what we do. We keep it real 100%. And we're like 1 million percent. We keep it real. Right. And, uh, what they were doing before they came to church from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That we turned them into church, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we, we, you know, we do. We, we keep it real. And, uh, I think somehow we lost Lady K somewhere. She's. She done, she done disappeared off our, off our she banner. She disconnected on us. Uh, yeah, off our banner somewhere. She sure did. I don't know what happened to her, but... Uh, I oh. guess she didn't like us no more disconnect us. Yeah, she sure did disconnect us, didn't she? Oh. Mm-mm-mm. Lady Cake, please come back on. You sound like a little alien. Yep. Yeah. No, she probably couldn't hear me. She's somewhere. She... She's somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe the the... the uh, uh, we'll get her back on when we get her back on, folks. We, we, you'll see her little rosy cheeks back up in the corner. But we, um, uh, but one of the things about about the the internet dating and people tend to to get, I think, uh, committed relationships confused with dating because dating, there there really is not the obligation. Yeah, but dating you know. is to get a committed relationship. Dating is people for looking for people who are honest, open, loving, romantic, caring to get a, uh, a relationship with because and otherwise they're too either are workaholics or too busy in their lives to stop doing what they're doing, but they want that companionship. You still can have a companionship and still uh, be a workaholic. Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody you see once or twice a week or somebody you see two or three uh, times a week or whatever, when you get to know that person, no matter what life feels, and you'll cut some of the things that you do all off because then you want to see that person more. See, sometimes we tend we tend to make our life real busy. We make it our life real busy because of the fact that all we right. don't have no one in our lives. We got We're here. not dating anyone, so we go to we go uh 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 through that just. To keep ourselves busy, to be a workaholic, or you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, as soon as we meet that person, is working out well. Yeah, we'll come back some of the time, some of the hours to work. We'll come back some of the time our business just to spend with that person. But you never know until uh, you meet that person on a, a, a dating site, on the website. Mm. Do, I, do I have Lady K? Did I? Oh, okay. I thought thought I. You did have. She must have hung up. I think yeah. I think she 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 hung up. All right. We did have her. Uh. However, uh, we we we'll keep on rolling. Um. Yeah, we'll get back to her. Yeah, we will. Uh. So uh, but yeah, uh, but I tend to think that that on. On that, and I and I pretty much agree, but you know, dating, uh, dating, you know, is is kind of like that free area. You you, um, and sometimes I think you know when you you you're meeting people, you you that's the opportunity for you to meet people, decide who you want to try to you know, hey, I you know I done went out on dates with with John, you know for female for female set with with John Tom. You know, Bobby, you know, Jordan, about five, six guys. Okay, now you're looking at it, and now you're saying, well, you know, process elimination. <laughs> okay, well, Johnny and Tom, they're not really making it. I'm down to the three. Um, I kind of like the, between the three. Uh, and I, I want to. I'm, no, we don't do it like that. Let we me don't see. do it like no, that. No, we don't do it like that. This is how we do it. If you got Johnny, Ronnie, Lonnie, Mickey, and Mike, uh-huh. you leave Johnny, Ronnie on, on, at home. Mm-hmm. Mike is the main main one. And Mickey, the other two, you just leave them a hole for a bit. Keep them in that circle. Because mm-hmm. the minute Mike don't write out, act right, Johnny and uh, uh, the other one going to take the place. Mm. <laughs> Johnny and Mickey gonna Hello? take the place. I always keep them on the on the on the side. I think we got Lady K back on. Okay. That you, Lady Hi. K. Hi. That you, Lady K. She said hello. I thought I heard her. Hello. Do you hear us? 
And who may I ask this call? Who is this? Can you hear us? All right, I guess they, they dropped out. All right. Well, we will. Uh, oh, there she is. Yeah, but you just a lot to answer. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I missed her. I missed her. She. We're getting her back on, y'all. Uh, uh, get new new setups and new new. We 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 learning how to work this thing a little bit at a time. All right, but um uh uh but in that dating, like I said, that that's how y'all do it. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, y'all do it the it, same way. Guys do it the same way. Really? You can you can have let's say three, cause I, three girls out of them three ladies, one of them is the one you really like and the one that you choose. But the one of them you will let go. But the second one keep because if the first one don't act right, you go to the second women do that, women do that too. Oh, yeah. I ain't never. I hear it. These. Hit it. Alright. Hello? I hear somebody. Somebody's calling in. Hit the. Uh, right there. I done lost them again. Yeah. Oh, I thought somebody calling in. Hello? Caller? Caller? Kala 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 kala. <laughs> Kala, are you there? Kala, are you there? I hear him. I hear him. I breathe. Okay. All right. Hang it up. We're not in for heavy breathing this day. Yeah. I'm not. Not. <laughs> not. We're not here for heavy breathing today. Mm mm. Uh, so. So, um, but okay, since you say that's how <laughs> we do it, and that's how, but, but I mean, what's wrong with 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 making sure who you want to try to be in in a okay, relationship? Okay, you had three people. Okay, you done dated three people on the, on, okay. on the internet line. Mm -hmm. One of them you don't like, so she's out of the picture. Mm -hmm. the, uh, 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 the second one you kind of like her. She could work, but you're not too sure. But you don't completely get her out the picture. Same with guys. You don't completely get him out the picture. Mm -hmm. The third one is the one that you pick. The one that said, yeah, she'll do fine or he'll do fine. And, you know, I'm going to see how this relationship go. But the second one you really ain't got, got rid of. You kind of got a hanging or him hanging on. Uh -huh. Just in case the first one don't pan out right. Everybody does it. Everybody who's not... Uh, Every, mostly everybody got it. Everybody mm -hmm. get you know does that get it? I did that, mm -hmm. so I can understand that. But uh, and then to uh, get, what we haven't touched is that when you do go on these internet uh, um, uh, dating services and stuff like that, you gotta understand that anybody can lie on the web just like anybody can lie to your face or in paper, mm -hmm. and and. You still got to be re 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 leery, do background checks. You know, everybody say, well, do a background check. You know, do no, because if you do a background check on them, they're going to cost you some extra money. Is he worth 25 or $50 to do the background check? Now, you can Google them, yeah, but if you, you know, you can Google them and find out a little bit about the person, but you won't find out as much as you do if you do a background check. My thing is do be, uh, you know, show precautions. Because how you know they, they ain't a serial killer or they ain't a pedophile or they ain't a, on the down low or so much stuff they could be into uh, down there or uh, on there. So, yeah, you just got to be careful of dating the internet service because you got, you got inmates that's in prison that will uh, uh, be on, you know, mm -hmm. sites like that. And looking for somebody and stuff like that. They don't supposed to be, mm. but they do. I don't know how they get it because they do. Well, I mean, they yeah, they do. They they they. I mean, they do have. Uh, is some inmates uh have worked their their privileges 
to where they can get they could go on you know have computer usage they um they do have computer usage for 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 inmates um but i think it's limited i think it's very limited uh well, I, you know what? I don't know. In certain prisons. Certain well, prisons, probably in not. a minimum, minimum secure or low-key prison. Yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Or somewhere you go on the weekends there, uh, you know. Um, I ain't going to say what I started to say. I thought about it because it's not all like that. Sometimes people could do something wrong. And sometimes people could uh, get blamed for something that they didn't do. Because mm-hmm. um, I worked in the prison system. So mm-hmm. um, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so just be careful when you, you know, uh, picking out these guys, you know, because you never know. You don't want no pedophile around your kids or or, or your or serial killers. Or you don't know what they're in there for. Or women beaters or what they call that when they, when they, when they, it's something I can't think of. What they call it when a woman, they get a woman and then they, uh, not only beat her and, ab- uh, and abuse her, but they make her do certain things. And she don't do... I forget what they call it. It'll come back to me later because I'm not really thinking about it right now. But yeah, just be careful um, to um, these websites, these internet dating sites. Don't give them too much information. Mm-hmm. That's what some of these winning guys do too. Right. When you're looking for somebody, mm-hmm. you give people too much information. Information. Right. Well, I want this, and I'm looking for that, and he oh, got to be yeah. this, and he got to be that, cause I'm this and I'm that. Right. Don't nobody want to hear that. Leave a right. little mystery or mysteriousness in 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 your in your uh post when you putting up something on the internet website. You know, <laughs> just be short and and, and quick. If mm-hmm. he want to know any more about you, he will ask you on the first date. With well, I, I agree with that on that one. One one yeah, million percent. I, I I very much agree. I you know I and it's just not the internet dating with people. I I I have said so uh, so many times that that um, people give out too much information. Period. They mm-hmm. I mean even you know when you you just meet somebody and you you know I mean you know person to person you meet them. Uh, wherever you meet them, uh, like I said, in Walmart, at the grocery store, at a park, or at an event, or maybe even park, church, or yeah. whatever, you know, um, but one of the things people do is begin, they give out information, and I've, and the thing, the mind is a, is a funny thing, I'm telling you, it is a, it, it has to be handled delicately, and a lot of people, what they do, they set themselves up, and they go and start exposing, well, you know, um, uh, and they be just t- telling the person yeah, exactly everything, everything yeah. that they need or to they do to play, to play, you know, to like to play, play the game. games. Yeah, yeah play, play the game. game. And we got a show coming up called Catfish, anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and just to play the game, and and so and, and then I hear people say, you know, well, you know, I didn't know that they were playing games. You got to sometimes spend, you got to spend a whole lot of time with them. Uh, and I, and I said, well, how much is enough time? Well, you know, you might have to spend like a year or two to get to know. I said, no, you don't. No, no you no, don't. No, but no. first of all, first you got to set yourself up because you, you done already told them everything they need to do to play the game on you. You right. know, uh, they they need they need to talk right to you. They need to have a job. They need to, uh, uh, have, you know, <laughs> and I know this is a little far-fetched, but they, it has it has happened. It has it not a whole lot of people. What's that? Uh, that that um, there was this guy that was told by this woman what kind of car he that she that you know style of car he had to have. You know, uh-huh. you know, didn't have to have no doom buggy. You know, uh, what was it? What do we used to call the the old cars? Hoopties. Hoopties, yeah. Yeah, well, no, 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 I, we used to call you know, them Chicago hoopties. Yeah, yeah, the hoopties, yeah, yeah, the hoopties. Uh, mm-hmm. Couldn't have a hoopty. Um, had to be a nice stout. The guy actually went out just so he could try to get a chance with this woman and got a car that that Ooh. would match her style. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, match her style. Um, the same, and I've I've heard stories with where where 
the woman just so she could catch the man. The man was talking about what, you know, how the woman, he likes her being dressed. And yeah. that wasn't really her style of dress, but she went out and got clothes and to fit that just so yeah, she could try to, yeah. you know. And so what well, that's we, like if you were married, you right. do this, well, except for the car part, what you was talking about. Mm. But that's just like if you was married and, you know, you trying to look good for your husband, y'all getting ready to go out or your your maid, uh, significant other, whatever, and y'all trying to go out, and then you, you know, certain stuff that he liked, he she liked, mm-hmm. and you were wearing and stuff like that. But now the new thing is now, which well, well, I read an article about it. If I can remember this article, because I read it like a few months ago, <laughs> when yeah. uh, people nowadays is not finding a wife or a mate unless they get good credit. Hmm. Because oh. they don't want nobody coming into the relationship with bad credit. Really? Don't they? I forget what this article said. But they, but they wouldn't marry him if they get if they got bad credit. They had to get bad, had to have good credit so they can get them a house, they can get their car before they get together. Being saying, saying that and saying this is like okay, so okay, you got a one credit. Your spouse, your your significant other, your playmate, your toy, your boy toy, your sex object, he got good credit. Y'all get together. Y'all hook up. Y'all start living together. Okay, y'all live together for a few years. Y'all see y'all can make this thing, you know, pan out or whatever. It don't have to be a few years. I'm just saying a few years. Just say that y'all was together and then y'all decide to get married after over a period of time. You still got good credit, and he still got good credit. Y'all paying all your bills. Mind you, you don't have any kids yet. But if you do, you know, because y'all are working on that. Y'all didn't want no kids until you get everything you wanted. Okay, you got everything you wanted. Y'all got married. Y'all had a kid. All of a sudden, y'all fighting, y'all arguing, y'all can't stand each other. You stop paying this, he stop paying this, he ain't going to pay this because you... If she ain't going to pay this, your credit get bad, y'all break up. Nah, not what you had in. Mm. Somebody else come along and get him and he got that bad credit. <laughs> mm. But at the time he wanted to, he, he wanted good credit. I don't understand. I don't understand that. When you die, you can't take it with you. Mm-hmm. Enjoy life while you can. Enjoy it while you can. Because who says to say in the next life mm-hmm. that there will be material things? Mm-hmm. And if you remember... Jesus says, you know, in so many words, you know, uh, be mindful of the material things because it's not, you know, where, where you going, it's not going to be there. You can't take it with you. <laughs> no, like nothing go, nothing go last. I mean, right. you know. And, nothing uh, lasts forever. I no, tell nothing everybody, lasts, nothing, nothing lasts, lasts forever. forever. Um, and, and I know somebody might have that kind of question. Are they saying, well, we can't be in love till we die? Yeah, you be like, no, but, but that's still going to come to the end because when somebody dies, I mean. Yeah, it's going to come to the right, end. Right, you know, the, yeah. the, 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 the enjoyment, the, the association, it'll, it'll come to the end. The physical uh, being right. will come to the end. Right, correct. So, um, but, you know, but really, um, we do, we, as, as people, we tend to expose too much information and, and, um, and one of the things I like, I, I really like to say to a lot of people is that, or advise to a lot of people, um, don't broadcast what you're looking for. Don't even, don't even tell nobody. Don't even tell your girlfriend. Well, don't you tell can, your man. But you nah. have. Well, how you gonna find the person no, you know? Just see, hit, see, look, here, watch this. If you know exactly what you're looking for, mm-hmm. what you, what kind of person, because everybody got their different preferences, right? All right. All right. Instead of telling folk, well, you know, uh, I need, I need, I need uh, you know, I look for a guy got the got curly hair, blah 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 blah. I mean, go, man, go running curl his hair just to just to, just to make it right. Uh, but but I mean, don't, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah I'm just I'm saying, I'm just throwing saying, that out there. Yeah. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, you know, yeah, I, mean, I understand. But that's a little that might be a little way. I, I have but a But when you see yeah. it, you see when with the more natural person. Is the one that's doing it without you ever saying it. You know, somebody who 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 uh, you say I I I'm, I'm looking for okay. If it's a woman saying it, if I'm looking for a man who opens doors for me, you know, who open doors, who be that yeah, kind gentleman. of gentleman, yeah. who 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 had who shows that chivalry and all that. Well, 
if you sitting there telling them what you're looking for, they How don't you do know it. it. Yeah, right. they now, do it if you know what you're looking for, don't, don't say, say it. it. Watch and see what they do. But that's on a date. But when you go on the website, you're on a dating site, you have to say what you're looking for. No, you don't. Because you don't want to. You can find out about the kid. Try to find out. Find out about who they are. Just talk. Well, what kind of look? Watch it. And just ask a question. Well, describe yourself. What kind of person you, you would you say you are? And if they come back and say, "Well, what kind of person you looking for?" They try to bait you. Watch it. Uh, watch it. Watch it. Well, watch it. They try you, to bait you. you they the, try to figure out yeah. what you what to tell you. But when you right? on that when you on the website, you mm-hmm. that you know it asks you a question to describe mm-hmm. what you're looking for. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, and describe. Uh, Yourself. How would you describe yourself? Mm-hmm. And I always, always, you know, describe myself as a woman with a great sense of humor mm. that loves life and enjoy life. And I always describe myself as uh, I'm not gonna say drama free because everybody had drama, mm-hmm. but no game players. I'm not into the games, and. Uh, I can't, cause some more people say they don't want no liars. They don't want it, but I, I don't say I just, I'm a, oh, now that's you know, a no. Yeah, that's another, another story. But I'm, I like, I'm, you know, I got a great sense of humor. I love life. I like doing this. I like doing that. My favorite hobby is reading. I love to read. I read so many books. Half the ones I read, I can't remember. I have to read them over again. <laughs> but it's so much stuff I like to do, and I like to go to parks and travel and this and this and that. But that's average person would like to do something like mm-hmm. that. I don't know no average person that would like to just, oh, I just like to stay at home and watch the, the Ignite Box TV. Mm-hmm. Just look at the Ignite Box mm-hmm. all day. No, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's nobody that uh, does that. Well, I don't know. Some but people I don't want to stay home just look at the Yeah, Ignite but they're probably older now. Mm-hmm. They're probably older. I mean, when mm-hmm. they was, well... I don't know. But we're talking about people, people who are not yeah, married. Yeah, because there's some people, yeah, 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 already committed and all. Yeah. yeah, but I see I'm not married, and when I go home, the first if I'm not reading a book, mm-hmm. first thing I do I go on my computer. I could be home on my off day, be home all day, mm-hmm. and would never turn my TV on. Mm-hmm. I'm not a TV person, <laughs> so I never turn my now if it's a certain show that I like that I can see at that certain time of day, I would turn to that program. Mm-hmm. But it's nothing on TV right now that I would like to see, so I'm not a TV person. And I go in and I, I do the, do you know, the internet thing, and I play my little games on the internet. I get off. When I get off of that, I go finish reading my book, whatever I read. I'm reading right now, I'm reading three different books at three different times. <laughs> Don't ask me how I do it, but, you know, I read a little bit of this and then quit reading that, and then I love reading a little bit of that. But that's how I do. Mm-hmm. But see, I enjoy myself as a company first. I love myself. I like the things that I do before I go look on the what you call. But don't get me wrong. Every once in a while, I have to hit my sights and see who hit it. <laughs> you see who hit it? Yeah, and if it's good, I you know I answer to it. If it's not good, I just delete it. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, I keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I know. Um, and I tell you one one of the things like I um. Uh, you know, like you, like you were saying, um, you do get to know people, and, and people make the biggest mistakes by of trying to get to know a person by the three big, the three big ones. They always want, they always trying to pay, and and I'll say I was guilty too. Um, but they always trying, as we are, maybe I should say, we as well, people, yeah. we as people. Tend to do these three major wrong things in getting to know somebody, and that's we try to get to know or know or learn a person by what they do to us, for us, or with us, and 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 instead, um, it's better to get to know somebody, and you can learn really, really a whole lot faster and more truthfully and factually about a person by paying attention to what they do to other people. With other people and for other people. Yeah, that's true. Because watch what watch if if they got if they got anger issues or they quick tempered or uh or they they lie a lot. Watch watch how easily you can see this. If you if you're around them, they're they're with you know and they're with their family. Mm-hmm. 
right? People were very natural when they were around the family. They very natural. I mean, you know, they oh, lie. Oh, too, oh, yeah. They are very in their <laughs> natural too state. Too in bad the lady Chang here. She can tell you some stories, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, folk are very, you could, you could yeah. see that if they snap it. I mean, they ain't never been snapping with you, but you see them letting, snapping on the family and stuff. Ooh, she had, oh, she had. You can tell them. that Ooh, right off had, the yeah, bat. She had I one mean, of them. You she know. hurry up and let him go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can, boy, I'll tell you, the most natural habitat for a person uh, and their character is around their family. Yeah. Now, the next one is around their best, so called best friends. Friend. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, then the next one for that is with creditors. Like bill collectors and all yeah, that, okay. you could tell if a person is a responsible person, really sets a standard of responsibility, has that mind responsibility, how they deal with a creditor. Yeah. Well, not really, because uh, they can, you can, yeah, because if they did, if the creditor call them, they mm -hmm. ain't dealing with their credit, they ain't mm -hmm. doing their personal right. finance. Mm -hmm. But if a creditor don't call them, then you ain't got to worry about because you yeah. know they dealing with their personal finance. Well, you can watch how, I mean, you know, if you're around, and that's why I said what you observe, you have to be around them or something to be able to see it. But, uh, but you know, we want to tend to think that, that, um, just because somebody, uh, and here's a, here's a real life story, true story, um, there was this one, uh, uh, th these two ladies, they were talking. One of them was just really bragging about her man. She was just really, really bragging about her man. My man is so good to me. and Bob, He treats me with so much respect. And and I just had to ask. I really did. I had to, I had to plug in and ask. And I, I, I said, um, I said, you know, uh, I don't mean to intrude in, in your... I don't know why it is when I'm working. Folk ain't going to let me in their house no more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was in, I was doing a job, uh, and and then I just had to interject. I couldn't help it. Um, and I was like, okay. I said, it's good. Your your man is, you know, re really. Do you see him like that? Uh -huh. And she was like, I just, you know, because in their in their conversation, as I was listening, she was talking about I can't stand smoke, you know, cigarette smoke, and uh -huh. stuff. it just bothers me and everything. And, and even though my man smoked, he just he just so respectful of me and all that, and he makes sure I, he never smokes around me because he knows I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I said, I just have one question I want to ask uh, mm -hmm. about about your man, and I said it's good, marvelous that he doesn't do that right. <laughs> I said, just you know, I'm trying to see the real person, the right. real person, right? And I, and I said, uh, when y'all are out in the public. Uh, does this man that you give so much credit about, about who doesn't smoke around you, right? Who shows you all this respect, right? Does he do that the same around other people who don't, you know, who are non-smokers, don't like smoke and all that? Or just, or just yeah, he yeah, just do. Or do you see him just whipping it out like he don't care, <laughs> you know? And she was like, <laughs> well, um. Uh, and then that really doesn't matter, cause as long as he don't do it around me, I said no. It really, if you if you really pay attention, I said think about it. She started thinking about it. She said, "Well, you know, as you saying it, yeah, he do kind of do it." Around. I said, "You," I said, "I'm not saying that he will do this, but I said I think it might be something you might want to think about, because uh, that means he's going through special efforts to not be his natural, because around other people he don't care." Right. He don't care. He don't. He, he that that. And if he's a natural respecter of anybody who doesn't who doesn't smoke, and you know he respects those people, he'll naturally do it for you. Right. You know that's more natural. I mean, you benefit from his natural character. I said, but now he's making a special effort. Effort. Right. And now, doing who's to say you. when he gets really comfortable? Let's say y'all get married. He's in his. He, he, like, oh, he calls this his house now, yeah. and he's like, you know, hey, yeah, uh, I'm comfortable now. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, I, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, so I mean, you know, those are things to think about. I'm not saying that that person would would actually just do it, but it's still something to think about because when that when people let their hair down, that's when you really, yeah. yeah. Oh, there she is. There she is. Let me see if I could get her, get on. That's it. There you go. Uh, is she is she on? Uh, where'd she go? Where is she? 
She's trying to come up in here, isn't she? Oh. Ah. I heard it wrong. I don't know where the pitch is. Hello. 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 Because you didn't hit the camera part when you. Yeah. I, I did, I thought. Oh, yeah, you hit the camera part. Yep. Click with it. Yep. Is she on her? I don't know. She went. She, I don't know where she went. No. Right, anyway. She, she'll get it right yeah. one day. We are still trying to communicate with uh, Lady K. Yes, we are. <laughs> she's, she's, she's having problems and we having problems too. Uh, she's not in. Yeah, didn't we exit out the camera right there? Huh? Go over, over right there. Right there? No, you get... No, oh, ah, uh, she, she's somewhere in here. Yeah. yeah. See right there above the blue? Right there. Right here? Right there. No, it's, it's on. It's oh, on. Okay. Yeah. No, she, she's somewhere. Something's going on with her with her equipment. I don't know what's going on. Um, Something's going on with her. But we... Oh, okay. But uh, we, we got... We, we got our own radio, radio, radio. Yeah. How'd you like radio? that? Radio? Yeah, radio. That's a new one to me. Yeah. Radio? Radio. Ready to Ra get it Radio. <laughs> Ready to get it done. Radio. Ready to get it done. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's finish our discussion. I'm, I'm getting into my professionalism. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Professionalism. My professionalism. Okay, listen. Right. And so, you know, I really. Um, I know we talked about the pros, the, the some of the cons, um, uh, and you know they they do have some success stories. Everything is not bad. I think it's really just how you have uh, another lady um, shared a story, uh, and uh, uh, even if she hears it, you don't have to wear it because nobody know know who I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, it's very interesting. Um, that uh, here uh, on the dating site, um, this is, this speaks bad about many men uh, on these sites, and I, you know, I'm I'm not afraid. I'm not bashing men. Um, there's some things about women I can say mm -hmm. that I probably am going to say, but this this one has to do with with majority of men who are represented on this on the sites. Um, and the many complaints that I read, studied, or heard, and counseled with was that uh, for some reason you said it a little earlier. For some reason, a lot of men um, are on dating sites for sex, and the first thing they want to pop off is um, the the possibility of sex. Not really getting to know the person. Which, yeah, which not is really, a turn off. Uh, yeah, it's really turn off. Because right, right. Once you get to know, once you date that person and y'all mm -hmm. feel this chemistry mm -hmm. or whatever, right. it's gonna happen naturally. You just don't have to go and just just say, right. "Give me some" or "Can I have some?" No, right. <laughs> don't go that way. And it's yeah. naturally gonna happen anyway. Well, so I don't even know some why people got locked down. <laughs> yeah, but how could you get locked down on the day? I mean, if you you know the chemistry there and mm -hmm. y'all. Dating and y'all kind of click and y'all talking and y'all feel comfortable with each other. I'm not saying on the first date or nothing like that, but yeah, you go you gonna have sex with the person, but you ain't gonna talk about it for you have mm -hmm. it. Talk mm -hmm. what you like or this or that. Mm -hmm. You know, you just gonna go on, go on into the to the sexual thing about it. Mm -hmm. you just gonna go on and you know have sex, make love or whatever that you know you want to call it. But you ain't gonna talk about it first and say what you like and what you don't like. That's a turn off there. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Are you there, caller? Can you hear us? I, I hear. We just hear your heavy breathing. We hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay, now we hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you fine. Okay, all right. I think that sounds like Lady K. Yeah, that's Lady K. That's Lady K. That's Lady K. Yeah, 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 that's Lady K
double yeah, layer. Okay. Oh. We finally got the hook up. Oh, we got Lady K by by voice transmission now. You still there, Lady K? Where'd she go? What happened? Where'd she go? I think she's having problems up there in DC. They, they must be. They, oh, we having problems here. No, it was in DC. Mm. That's going on in DC. We we're good here. We're good here. We're we're good here, but unfortunately, we we get we get we get us straight. Yeah, cause she yeah. said hello and yeah, she said hello and dropped right back out. All right, we got your two cents though. Uh, yep, two and two, <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> but we we do, you know, we we broadcast a lot and uh, and um, but back to this lady though. Um, what what happened in her story was that um, the guy contacted her. Uh-huh. And um made the comment what you know and and I'm I'm kinda like that too. I don't like to do a lot of texting, uh, you know, long texting back and forth. Well, I, and a lot I of don't like talk. I, 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 talk I like to hearing the voice. voice. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. and, man, some people are text kings and queens. I mean they one finger they Lord, can I, can't I mean, do yeah, it. Lord I'm, I, but you know, I like to hear that response, that interaction. It's nothing I like, like it. The vibrating of the voice. There's no replacement for yeah, it. But so that's just me. A person lying yeah, that's not. just me though. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I can't, I can't speak for someone else. But that's yeah. just me. Uh, in, uh, we got her again. Keeps fading in. Something's going on with her transmission over there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe. Uh, uh, Are you in the building, Lady K? Lady K? Are you in the building, Lady K? She comes in and drops that like out. Maybe you should go on your porch. Huh. Yeah. Uh, with a coat hanger as yeah, an yeah. antenna. Maybe get a good reception. Yeah. <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello. Hello? Are you there? We keep saying hello. Hello? Hello? Lady K? All right. She, 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 she done hung up again. <laughs> yeah, she done hung up. She, she, she got problems over there in, in D.C. But, uh, but nevertheless. It could be her provider. It could be. It could be. It could be. Yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, y'all bear with us, uh, out, yeah, out there in TV land. But yeah, um, as I'm going with that story, uh, like I said, the guy contacted her on the site, right, in, in a message form uh, on the site, uh, requesting that he get phone number. Said so spoke about how he was interested in the lady, mm -hmm. and all that. And then, so um, her first message reply to him was, okay, sent she fit the phone number. Okay. All right. Now, his first one, her first reply to it. Okay. She sent the first. She just found him, saw his picture on there, thought he was a cute guy, you know. Um. So, his next one, which would be his second contact, mm -hmm. was he sent a of his private. Oh. Of his private. No. Yeah. He <laughs> said instead of now. This is her cell phone. She sent, sent expecting a phone call so they could have a conversation, as he put it, mm -hmm. instead of doing all the messaging and all that. Okay. But he sends a picture of his private. Okay. Okay? Um, uh, it ain't too private. He sent a picture, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree with that. It's now become a public, but, yeah. uh, but he sends a picture of it, and and... So she's appalled by it. Uh -huh. Didn't even say it in 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 the in that in that picture. Didn't say hello. How do you like nothing? Just no, the if, picture. Just nothing start, but it, the picture. Hold on. Nothing. If it start talking, yeah. then we got a problem. <laughs> nothing but the picture. Which is what I'm saying with that. If it's not talking, I guess we you know some, some. You know, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, no. Cause but, he said that and then it started talking. Yeah, 
start talking, mm-hmm. somebody got a problem. <laughs> right. Nothing but a picture. Okay. All right. No, no, hello. You know, now <laughs> you know how you do it. Not even how you like this. I mean, yeah. just the picture. Right. Now, immediately, immediately, she knew that that was, felt dis- that was disrespectful. That she, was di- she felt yeah, disrespectful. Yeah, that was. That was. Uh, disrespected, disappointed, and all that. Now, yeah. in, uh, now, here's the here's the thing. Uh, by by testimony, she said it, it was this was disrespectful. All right. Now again, remember, picture worth a thousand words. Okay. It also is worth uh, 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 many characters too. Okay. Okay. Uh, without him even saying anything, you could kind of pick up some character some character about about the person, right? Okay. All right. By that, by just doing just that, the picture. just okay. just in the picture. I got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, but you know how sometimes we make excuses. We make all these excuses for folks sometimes. But anyway, um, so at that point, recognizing that this person is a disrespectful person, uh-huh. all right, and and abuse the the opportunity for conversation because that's why he said he wanted the phone number. Right. Okay. Um. Uh. Instead of moving forward, mm. made a contact back to the guy. Mm. Uh. To so-called blast him out mm. for sending the picture. Right. Okay. Uh. Could have just blocked him. Could have okay. just left him. She alone. had to do that. She should. She could have just deleted and don't Delete. call him. You don't don't call. But called him. Uh. Uh-huh. Now this opened up the door for the guy to plead and for for forgiveness and and beg and because he let to see her you know, reaction when he right, seen it right and and beg for react you know for for well, give me a second chance or let, let me show you that how that I'm really not a disrespectful person now you you already showed Show you a disrespectful but, person. And, and you already labeled that uh-huh. now now she gives him that opportunity. Right, okay. because he he put he put pulled the game on her. Yeah. The game was mm-hmm. okay. I'm gonna do this. Send her my picture, of my private part. Mm-hmm. If she delete me, fine. That mean mm-hmm. she ain't on the game that I'm on. Mm-hmm. But if she called back, mm-hmm. it's a possibility. Yeah. Possibility. Possibility. Right. Uh-huh. All right. Now you saw you saw the you saw the character already. Uh-huh. Now when he sent the picture. Right. Sent the picture. Now so that's telling you okay. After you saw the character, after he did do the picture, after you seen the picture and you contact him, mm-hmm. so that means that's telling him, mm-hmm. as a man, well you kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Mm-hmm. So uh, tell him something. You know, we're gonna go into this game. We're gonna mm-hmm. play the game. You yeah. wanna play the game? Uh, we're that, gonna play that, the game. We're gonna, play the game. <laughs> we're gonna catfish this one uh, a little bit. Uh huh. So, yeah, that is a form of catfishing. Yeah. So, she went for the bait. He drew her in. But give disrespect that showing a, 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 a part of his penis. But mm-hmm. once he knew, and he knew he disrespected her. Mm-hmm. So, now he like, oh, man. Oh, he knew it before he, I, yeah. he, knew before he sent no, it. No, he knew he disrespected when he sent it. Mm-hmm. But he was seeing what type of woman she was and mm-hmm. she called him back. Mm-hmm. Now, if she didn't call him back. Mm-hmm. He messed up. Mm-hmm. He lost a good, respectful woman. Mm-hmm. But since she did, she called back. Oh, he, she a chicken head. He can do anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he yeah. won't with her. So yeah. she fell for her. Oh, okay, I forgive you since it's the first time you did it. Mm-hmm. How you know that's the first time? He could have did it several. Several. Times. Several times. Several times. Don't, you, you, you don't, don't know. Want, and you don't, you don't want know. fish this for is like the. This is like the... the his second contact, and he doesn't send a picture. Right. right. And you're the only mm-hmm. one that's fishing for it. So, right. You know, you don't right. fish in it. So, yeah, he done drawn Never seen the guy cat. in her life. Right. Gave him a big old catfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, she gives him this, this opportunity and and lets the guy, allows the guy to go out on a date. Okay? Go okay. out on a date. And, um, uh, for whatsoever reason, maybe sometimes because people, you know, sometimes when people tell themselves so deeply how that they so lonely or they, you know, right. they, I, I, I'm, I'm so desperate or I'm so lonely. They sometimes, sometimes people settle for so much. When you people settle for less, yeah, settle for less. Yeah. And and in the long run, you actually find out that that less ain't even good enough. Right. And and 
So why even go there sometimes? <laughs> why even go? Because they be lonely and they desperate. Like I always tell them when I yeah, when I be on there, I'm, look, I'm not desperate by a long shot. I figure you want companionship. I want companionship. You know, let's see how this run. But no, I'm not desperate right. at all. <laughs> so now the date's been set up. Now remember, don't know the guy. Right. Never met him. Right. Only thing you seen was a picture. Right. Don't even know if he really looked like that. Okay, because okay? okay. you know some people do that. They 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 either there've been people who put somebody else's picture up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a good but there's a good. Oh yeah, I heard about uh, that. There's that a good movie. Picture. Yeah. But we yeah. don't get into yeah, that. Yeah, we have next year. Yeah, next next year. But I, I I advise folks to go watch this movie called Thirty Five and Ticket. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It it, it shows you what we're talking about right now. It, um, but um, that you know, but bottom line, don't know who this person is. Right. You don't even know he's a criminal. Don't even know, you know, if he's a rapist, killer. You don't know nothing. Okay. All right? Except for what he's supposedly to look like. Okay? Okay. And you don't know that until you show up in person. So, now, um, the date has been set up. And, uh, and came to find out that... Uh, this lady gave the man that she didn't know anything about her address. The man came to her front door. What? Yeah, came to her front door. She really don't know desperate. anything about this guy. Uh, All right. Um, it came came to her front door, and then get in the vehicle with the guy she don't know anything about. Mm-hmm. On the on the on their first, first date. date, okay. First date, first time meeting him, first time seeing him in person, mm-hmm. and gets in the okay, car okay. in his car. They used to do that in certain day. Nowadays, it, you can't do you, it's that. So, it's so it's so dangerous now. Yeah, it's you really, had to meet him like a coffee place it, or a restaurant it, or a park, right. somewhere public. Right. So now in in the car with with the guy and um. And so, and, you know, nowadays, you know, we put our own self. And we say, here's what we want, we, we tend to do as people. We're so busy pointing the finger at the other person. Well, they don't, they just like this. And they, no. It, the per, I, I have a statement that says, the biggest lie that's ever told mm-hmm. to a person is not the one that's told by other folks to you. Right. It's the one that you yourself tell yeah. yourself yeah. Okay. and believe it. That's yeah. the biggest lie. Yeah. And and um, so, uh, you know, um, the one good thing about it is that after they got out and and she found out that the guy was was um, was nothing what she thought he would be. Uh, really totally opposite. Right. Um, well, she was fishing into that so. Totally opposite. Okay. That the guy actually brought her, that was a respectful thing. Brought her back home, even though he did make sexual suggestions. But you, but there are some cases where, and I and I know these are true cases. I've been in counsel with some, um, where someone met somebody else on a blind date, uh-huh. uh, <clears throat> and and. Um, and they got raped. Okay. They jumped in the vehicle with them mm-hmm. and got raped. Okay. Got mugged. I I and and it go and it goes on and on. Now that's not to scare the public, but what is to to say? Use your intelligence because you you know God didn't give you this gift of discernment and and and. And all that for us to abuse. All that education and yeah. common sense right. to abuse it. Right. right. But yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. Right. It didn't give us all right. all that just. But then we want to blame the other person. Really, the blame is is our is ourselves. Yeah. Never. <clears throat> uh, if you do meet somebody on the internet or <clears throat> somewhere like that, you meet them at a neutral place. You either go to a coffee shop, <clears throat> restaurant, <clears throat> park bench. <clears throat> 
uh, bus stop, really, wherever you can find a camera. <laughs> yeah, right. that, that bus stop uh, where a camera Yeah, where a camera at, wherever you can find a camera at, just in case something happens. Beat them at the front of the police station. Yeah. And then I'm you, right, you're right. You yeah. your cell phone, call your girlfriend, you know, have your girlfriend call you in the middle of dinner, see mm-hmm. you make everything all right, mm-hmm. or something like that. If mm-hmm. you don't have a girlfriend that call you in the middle of I know secrets, but I can't say it on TV because it's not. It's just <laughs> that you can do other secrets, but just in case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I can't say it. Say just in case. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just yeah. in case secrets. Mm. But um, I can't um, say it on the internet. Oh yeah, it's personal. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want nobody else to do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't try that at home. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah. One of them. Don't try yeah, this yeah, at Don't try that at home. Don't try this on a date. <laughs> yeah. But since the soldier do this, mm-hmm. ain't had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, be careful to, for who you, you pick. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with some of these young girls. They meet people on the internet, go off with them, they run away, they disappear, you can't find them or something like that because they figure that their home life or they arguing with their mother all the time or fighting with their mother all the time is um is something better out there than it is than, no, it's it's not. They they just arrested mm-hmm. like three or four guys the other day for having a sex ring and with all these children and half of them weren't even reported missing and they was gone for months. Mm. You know, so um yeah, just 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 be careful with internet dating. That's all. I'm yeah, saying. yeah, you really need to be careful. It's just not internet dating. You should be careful just dating people because you don't know if it's a new person, fresh person that you ain't never met, but new new before, never met. You still gotta be careful. You, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you, still you, gotta. you these days you gotta be careful. And well, that's part of the internet day because you're going to meet them on the internet. Mm-hmm. You very seldom meet somebody on the streets nowadays. Right. Right. Do. right. They got their significant mm-hmm. other or whatever with them. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, and I, unless you go to clubs and meet somebody, but them the worst people you can meet in the club. Yeah. Them the derelicts that hang out in the clubs to find somebody mm-hmm. that they can meet like you in the club. So, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, because it's, uh, because, uh, the date rapes are, are still not not over with. They that's still no, that's, happening. That's, that's yeah. You know they drug. You know they pop something in your drinks and stuff. And yeah, uh, that's well, still not done with. Call, they still call doing it a Mickey. Stuff. Pop a Mickey. Yeah, they got a Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> but no, they pop other other date rape mm-hmm. drugs and everything. Mm-hmm. That's what they call it now. Mm-hmm. And stuff in your uh, drink and stuff like that. But right. um, yeah, just you know. yeah, you got you got you have to be careful. And you know, and, and that's still on the flip side for the women. Uh, um, you know, I just kind of spoke on kind of like the men, the men, men thing, but you, you have some, uh, you got some women that out there that serial yeah, killer. Yeah. That, you got some women out there that would uh-huh. do things to men and mm-hmm. that men do to, right. to women. Right. And, uh, out there trying, trying to find them, their whole real purpose is to find them a sugar daddy. They don't want to call it that. They don't want to tell that's what they really look for. Hold up. You got some sugar daddies out there looking for a sugar, sugar mama. For a sugar so mama, I, yeah. Or a, a, a woman to be a sugar, sugar daddy. Mama. With. Yeah, yeah. And you got some yeah. sugar mamas mm-hmm. out there looking mm-hmm. for somebody to be a sugar daddy. Right. So to each his own, whatever's and fair in love and war, whatever's mm-hmm. fair in the game, because it's mm-hmm. all a game. Right. It depends on if you want to participate in the game. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All of it's a game. Everything is a game. If right. you don't want to mm-hmm. participate in it, just don't throw your quarter in there. <laughs> your dollar. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it depends on the person who wants to participate. Yeah. And um, it's just that, because, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, there's some... I want to get deeper to this, but I really can't because we're going to have the, another one next weekend. Oh, yeah. Because this going to lead to that, and I'm trying not to keep talking. Another one the next weekend, and I know that's gonna be, you know, catfishing. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Y'all, y'all have to look at this one because once you see, we hit upon a little bit of it today, but once you see what we were talking about, catfishing, mm-hmm. and then you'll be like, oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, he did do that. It's gonna open your eyes to a lot of things that we. Men or women, and women do, but mostly men. They say it's us, but it's mostly men. Hmm. Do to go catfishing. But hmm. we'll talk about that some other time. But yeah, um, internet day and the pros and cons, I don't think it's uh, 
no con to it. Well, yeah, it's a con to it, but no pros to it. I put it like, no, I take that back. Because you think about it, you got professionals out there that would uh, play a con game on you. So, yeah. So, it's, it's I mean, really not no pro, pros and cons of it. Yeah, because you got professional people. Yeah. I do think it, it can work. Uh, I don't think I, I I don't think you know as, as yeah there, a, I mean there, 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 there are a lot of bad, bad but there is that it can work but you have to you have to use your good sense about it you know when you, yeah but in very rare cases it do work it do work in very rare cases you find some well, I found my love and now we married mm-hmm. we've been together four or five years but you know what they don't do the follow up and see if they're still together. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, you you do like you like know. a morning show when yeah. they come back. Uh huh. We've been married five years, and yeah, but they don't tell y'all about that seven year itch, huh? Mm. And we still together, but after, you know you don't you don't go back on the check on them to see what's wrong with. But yeah, I guess it's it's, it's it goes to each individual. You know what you um what you looking for, what you dealing, what you willing to deal with. Uh, how you want to play a game? Cause it's gonna be a game. Cause they're gonna start games with you. Mm. And do you want to play that game? And yeah. If you don't want to play that game, you know, you know how to turn it off. No means no. You know, it's only two letters and no, mm. and O, oh, and no means no. You just go ahead and and, and try something else. Yeah. And you can't be so. You know how you used to be social a long time ago. You could um. Meet somebody in the movie theater, meet somebody in the store, mm-hmm. uh, yep. uh, meet somebody in the bowling alley, meet somebody at a party. So can't meet people like that nowadays. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's for now. You you really for any kind of dating, you really you really need to use. Use common sense. your common sense. <laughs> Use your intelligence. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Because a lot of people don't have a common sense. A lot of people don't have intelligence. Hmm. So <laughs> I mean, they've been mentally tested. I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I just, some people just don't think that way. Some people don't just have the education to, to think that way. No. But, you know, you just got to watch out everything. Everything out there that's saying good for you is not good to you. Yeah. I, I believe, you know, we we actually mold ourselves into what's called that the tradition. The tradi- no, the we, traditional don't, we don't mold ourselves mm-hmm. to that. Society mold ourselves. Well, you got to have oh, tall, dark, and handsome. And he's so sexy with a little bit of weight. That's what put, that's his what muscles us. pow and pow and his six pack. Because society tell us. Society brainwash us to tell us this. Mm-hmm. And and, and 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 he had to be humble and sexy and this and that because society tell us to this. Look for somebody that's on your own personal mm-hmm. wavelength. Don't look for somebody that uh, society, mm-hmm. society tell you that looks good. Mm-hmm. You look for somebody on your wavelength. I mean, they could be looking good. They could be looking ass. Some of the, some of the ugliest people is the nicest people you want to meet. Right. Meet, you know, they are the most honorable and trustworthy person you want to meet. So, mm. you know, don't judge. Don't judge them. Don't judge them. Mm. Just because society said this, ask society and they're going to come pay your bills. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You know, then you got sugar mamas and sugar dad. Do you really want a sugar daddy on the internet? No. Nope. You know that's the subject we should talk about too. But we didn't really get into that when you did we did the grandpa and the grandpa. Oh uh, yeah. Because some sugar daddies, once they start being your sugar daddy and pay your your bills and stuff like that, then they want to own you. They want to tell you what you can do and what you can do. They want you to mind them. <laughs> mind. Yeah, mind. You better mind me. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> but I ain't going to get into that. Because they think that they give you money. They pay your bills. They're doing this. And you're supposed to do that. Want to, but we're going to do a topic on that, oh, that too. That's yeah. like bulk love. Mm-hmm. We're doing but that's topic. Sugar daddy yeah, we 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 love. doing that topic too in this month. Uh-huh. You know, can money buy love? Uh, we, yeah. uh, uh, okay, look, that'll be in. Yeah, there. yeah, that's okay. in this month. This month, uh, 
you know, uh, the month of August, we're, 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 uh, it's kind of titled The Odd Things That Go On in Relationships um, okay. uh, during this month. And, uh, you know, one of the things is like this, like we're talking now, the Internet, the Internet dating. Right. And um, so. Uh, and I've been hearing so many stories, mostly mostly the women's side. But I, I hear male sides, too. Um, but uh, I, I, I do. I hear that. Man, I ain't, I ain't fooling with that no more. I'm just going to go back to being like I was. Just wait for somebody. And then, I, then I, after somebody a couple of months, a couple oh, months I was like, uh, you know, uh, I was like, so uh, anybody come on? No, I'm back on the site again. I was like, I thought you were doing with it. Uh, yeah, but ain't nobody coming along. I was like, oh, so the well, site is nobody, like Didn't nobody come mm-hmm. along then? Because I had to go on sites, get mm-hmm. off sites, go mm-hmm. back on sites, get mm-hmm. off sites. Yeah. And nothing come, come, comes on. The only thing I hate about is 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 when you get somebody from, uh, maybe that's good or someone. Mm-hmm. If they say they're willing to lo- relocate, mm-hmm. if he, it said all right. And they really, but to, to have a long distance love over the phone, no, I cannot see that. Mm-hmm. I cannot see that. Yeah. Because uh, I really don't know that much about you. About me. And you come to my town and stay for a couple of days, okay? Or I come to your town, they, we meet and stuff like that, okay? I'm going back to my my state. You and your state, how I know what you do. I mean, I can't. It's not that I'm looking for you to do anything, and it's not that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want to watch you 24 hours a day, but I still can't see what's going. I don't know what's going on where you at, and you don't know what's. Going on. No, long distance ship relationships do not work with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do not work with me because it always a game in between that, it's, especially if we two or three states over. Yeah. Oh, it's truck drivers. Ooh, not all truck drivers. Mm. But most of the ones I know had a woman in every state. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, hey. be leery of them too. Uh, that's that's what they call intercoastal mm. or intercoastal, whatever. It is. Whatever it is, yeah. they got one in every state. Mm. So be very careful. Well, that, I mean that that that's to the preference of that individual. If that's what they really believe they could they could put up with, they can accept. But remember, when you say you can accept or you can put up with or you that willing you to... you can accept or put know, up with anything. Uh-uh. Uh, well, there's some people that they're willing, uh, unfortunately, or, or I won't say it's unfortunate, but I'll just say there are some people who are who are willing, yeah. who are actually that willing. Yeah. Um, and I just know, and I, like I said, I, I took that back by saying unfortunate, but I do know this much, that... Um, um, you know, we being that we're not a religious show, we we do uh, have religious support, but we're not a religious show. But I, I do have to say, you know, <laughs> I, um, being that we are a believer of God, that we, you know, God has made us better than that, and God, and mm. we don't have to just accept anything. We don't have to. But we do. We yeah, do. We don't have to. We do though. because yeah. some of our, some of our, some of these women standards is so low that they do accept anything. Mm. Mm. Okay, they don't have to, but they do. Some are figured that it's a psychological thing because some are figured that they ain't gonna never find the right person, or they ain't gonna find what they want. This is good as anything. No, never settle for less. Never settle for less. It's always something out there better than what you had the last time. Always. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Put your standard up high, standards high. That's where you can meet somebody mm-hmm. with your standards, with their standards, just as high as yours. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. don't uh, underestimate yourself. Yeah. So we we talked about some of the the bad things that happen, some of the, some scary things that can happen out of it. Right. Um. Then you know, well, some of the positives that that could come out of it. Because yeah, you could be, but then. I think more so than anything, uh, the 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 internet dating, well, which you know, it's not just a dating site because it's all social media. It's yeah. it's still that's where people connect. That's to what me, social it's media. Entertainment people sometimes connect. Sometimes it be funny, yeah. funny as I don't know what, but yeah, to me, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you know, because you got you remember that 
there was the uh, I know this is another negative, but um, there was the Craig uh, the Craigslist killer. Uh, and you remember that? that they, I heard about it, but yeah, no. they even made a movie of it out of it. Did the they? Craigslist killer. Yeah, did we get you this time? Hello. I don't think she, she is. Yeah, she's just not, just not she's doing just, it. Yeah, she is. Yeah, but uh, you know, they that they made a movie out of it, uh, and uh, you know, the the lady met him, met the guy, uh, and they dated. They spent time together. Um, but here's one of the other odd things. Um, she didn't really get to see much of him around his family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, if he come from another state and she dating him in this state, he moved from another state and his family live in another state. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, I mean. Well, I just moved here and uh, I don't know nobody in my family. It's important to, 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 to know the backgrounds of people. It really is. Uh you know, if you're gonna get into a committed relationship, yeah, but someone really tell you, yeah, but someone tell you, I just moved here from such and such. Well, why did you move? Because I needed to change, or I need to find. There wasn't no jobs there, and I found the job here and stuff like that. And you have family here? No, I don't have no family here. So yeah, you still gotta be cautious, though. Still yeah, you, you really, you, you can even pay attention to how they talk to them on the telephone. But <laughs> I mean, you know, um, just always observe. But but really observe what they do with other people to other people and for other people more so than what they do for you to you or with you. Right. Even though you're with them, what they're doing so, so that you can you know you can see what it, it does. Yeah. It shows you what they do to other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Family members. Mm-hmm. How they react with them. It shows mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. It shows you how they were act with you. Right. Right. If one. Um, Right. Decide, yeah, because if one decide to um, uh, cuss a friend out, mm-hmm. so that shows you what about him. Yeah. Well, okay, if he cussing his friend out, and that's his friend, mm-hmm. imagine, and he knew him before he knew you, mm-hmm. imagine what he could do to you. Yeah, and just, <laughs> just like that, I I know. Um, but then um, they can treat their mama and their family mm-hmm. good. They can treat their brothers. Right. So good. Hey, that's my brother. That's my mama. Love I you remember mama. a long time ago, and I'm kind of busting my daughter out. Uh, but a long time ago, um, my daughter was you know was dating. She was into the the kind of gangster rap thing, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, she was good. She was good at rapping. She I give her credit. But um, I would always talk to her about not letting a guy disrespect her in no kind of way. Don't call you out of your name. Yeah. Don't call you no B word. That's disrespecting you because you're not that. You're not mm-hmm. you're not that. And uh and the same theory at at that time I had not reached that understanding about the two you for you and the two other people not mm-hmm. I had not reached reached that okay. yet at that time. I wish I had her but uh I think um uh, but this, at the same time, it was there. I just just wasn't saying the understanding was there. But but um, so here my daughter is. She's dating this guy, and all the time she would hear him say to other women, call him the B word. Mm-hmm. Never said it to her. Right. Then one day he hauled. I I uh, one day I I noticed he wasn't coming. Around, you know, she wasn't talking about him nothing. I was like, where your friend at? Where, where, I ain't seen him or heard you talk about him. I got rid of him. I was like, why? He called me the B word. I was like, oh, he did. And that was disrespecting me. I said, did, did, he ever, did you ever hear him do? Yeah, he was doing it to other women. But when he called me that, I was like, so. Uh, and then see that. And that, that's yeah, proof. Just, that's proof right there. You see, you you were seeing him the whole yeah, time. Yeah, but he didn't do her. But see, that's so the he thing. might disrespect the other women, but, but he wouldn't disrespect the her. But what you think know. eventually but, they gonna do? Right, he eventually, eventually he eventually. gonna disrespect her. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you see what they're doing to other folks, it's going. It really it's is. Going it, to it's going to, to come eventually. back to you. Yeah. yeah, because that's who that natural uh-huh, person that's is. That's who he is. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because people only keep their hair up for so long. They only keep the act on for so long, yeah, the act and then up, they yeah. get tired of. Or right. they see once what they, what they got, then they, mm-hmm. they then they stop. 
Right, right. So, I mean, so that kind of, like, gives the evidence of what I was saying, you know. Uh, and, you know, uh, and, to, and many times also, um, which is real truth, we, we say it, but we don't do it. We move into committed relationships too fast. I, we really do. Yeah. We, we really move into... If you don't know, how are you going to know if that's really the person? Now, it don't have to take no... No, thirty years to be able to, you know, to, to evaluate somebody. But you know, that, sometimes, to say, you know, sometimes, that's sometimes what people have had stuff for years. I think all these people that I mentioned in, in over <coughs> certain shows, mm-hmm. some that was serial killers and some that was racist, right. mm-hmm. and was married, had a wife and mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. And all these years, mm-hmm. their wife didn't know what they was doing mm-hmm. until they got caught. Right. And he had to tell where he had the bodies buried. <laughs> but you then she was shocked and appalled because. I guess she didn't see the sign. You know, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that, I was watching another movie. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but um, uh, at the moment, but there was this this young boy um, get made it up to high school, but when the boy was like about six or seven, his aunt was molesting him, mm-hmm. and uh, and he held that in. Mm-hmm. He held that in. And, it, and he did not react to to all that that drama that trauma that was brought to his table until he was a senior. Now there were some signs. Uh-huh. There were a few signs. His mom and dad never paid attention to it. They just thought it was just. And they, they 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 made excuses for it. Ah, uh-huh. uh, it's this kid growing up. You know. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, He's just having issues. The people have issues, you know, attitude Problems for reasons. Yeah. For reasons. I uh, mean, you know, and um, nobody, nobody, nobody just just blanks out, just switches over to have attitudes, you know, no, without mental, no reason. That's a mental thing yeah. for and, the trauma that he had as right, a kid. Right. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, um, and he didn't act out until on it. Fully until he was a senior in high school, and uh, so, um, but the boy did get help and all that and got over it. But like I said, all those years, all those years, he was trying to hold it in, but it kept leaking out. But yeah, nobody, because he didn't have nobody to talk, no, no, talk nobody to was him. paying attention. Yeah, to him, right? and that's that's mm-hmm. understandable. Right. But uh, yeah, pay attention to the signs, everyone. Pay attention. Pay attention to the signs. There are some pros of dating on the internet, Mm -hmm. and there are some cons of dating on the internet. Be more of a pro, though. (laughs) Be a pro. Listen to everything and watch everything they're saying. Just be more of a pro. Hey, who's this? This is somebody else. Hello, Carla? You there? Hello, Carla? Hello? Can you hear us? Hello, caller. I think they got the TV. Hello, caller. Oh, okay, they got the TV on. They can't hear what he's. What? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hello. Hey, caller. Hello. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, 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 yeah, we can hear you. Can hear you. We can hear you. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Just keep talking. Um. Hello, we can hear you. Hello. They need to turn the teeth. They can't hear us because they got their, their, they got their, they got their, uh, with someone from five years at a long distance? (laughs) 
So you got the TV up there. Too bad. Hmm. She was there, but uh, situation changed and you relocated. Oh, okay, I see what you said. Uh, you still have a relationship with you in a different state. Oh, I see what you uh, said. Uh, yeah, that's how would you deal with that? How would you accept that? Uh, uh, I wouldn't really. <laughs> Uh, you know what she said? I, I understand, but it's the opposite way. What you're saying is that uh, you really relocated a new job. He's still in the state that you left, and y'all still supposed to have a, a certain relationship. Uh, how would you do that? I wouldn't because think about all your girlfriends and your friends who you done told about your relationship with this man who they waiting for you to drop him to have, to get this man, Right? Behind your back while you gone. If 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 it, if it was anything, if it was that good of a relationship after five years, he would have went with you. Yeah. I should have told her to turn the TV down. Uh, uh, our audio needs to come down. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it. I mean, I still, I, you welcome. Cause I, 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 I would, I wouldn't trust it because I'm like, if we, we've been together for five years and we clicking like that, you know, relocate with me because he probably could find a job. You well, know, I don't where know. was that? But he must not want to leave because he had other agenda. Well, I mean, don't trust it. Look at the signs, though. If, if he had, if he, if he, some, you know, some there are military, there are military who go through kind of like a, a split living standard because. But that yeah. doesn't that doesn't make sense. It's so many. I work on military posts. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so mm -hmm. many things that if she was military, mm -hmm. he could have. He could have went, you know, with her. He didn't have to live with her in a, a military post, but he could have got a job out. I mean, a house outside the military post, and he could have found him a job, and they could have been still living together. By that time, anyway, they probably would have been married or something because mm -hmm. they're, they're close. Five years, really. Okay. So and they... then, second of all, uh, he could have been on a job for five years, but you know, everybody need to change if he's working and he's been on his job for five years. Why not take to be, you know, adventurous? Quit it, and you you in love with this woman. You've been going with this woman for five years, dating this woman for five years, and I relocate and find another job. Huh? Be if this is the love of your life, and you have been dating, and we have been dating for five years, and whether we have kids or children, or we've been, you know, just having a, you know, enjoying each other, dating for five years, it's some type of love that formed within them five years. So if he really loved her, he really was willing to be with her. Yes, yeah, she re relocated. He would too, cause that's a good opportunity for her, and in the long run, that's a good opportunity for him to too. But you men don't see it that way. Once sometimes, once y'all settled in one place, y'all don't want to move. Y'all just settle for that. But if you have, if you're a professional person, you have ambitious and ambitious. What I'm trying to say, because I'm all tied up trying to get all this out. And you want to better yourself. And this man loves you. He should see you, be able to see you want to better yourself. Either he go with you or he let you go. Y'all go ahead and broke, break up. That way, he continue what he doing in the city, in what city he live in. And you can find you a new interest, probably better, because it will always be better. And the, yeah, and I don't the new know. city. It always, yeah, it depends on how we choose. Better. It you always depends on how we choose. But you always have something better. You always have. God, I don't care what you say. God make it a way that you always, it always be somebody better. better. No, better than the last person you have. I, I, and, I, I and, and, know. and Yeah, it, five Sometimes, years, that's you a lot we of did a show. We did a show. Why do some people go back to the same person that they that they left? Yeah, but she ain't talking the, about going back to somebody. I, she, 
the same person. No, I mean, you know, the same about, kind of person. Same kind of person. No, I don't think you she know, would go to the no, same no, part, it, kind of person. Right, you probably out a person. No, because she probably already know how, how he is and stuff like that. And she's been with this man for five years and he don't want to make that change. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the next person she uh, deal with, she don't want to do that person if he don't make he don't want to make that change either. Mm-hmm. She don't want to deal with him. Well. Because your standards get higher and, well, higher and higher are different. Should. Should. Yeah. Should. Most people. Yeah, should. Higher and yeah. different than the mm-hmm. standards you yeah. have for the other person. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I still believe that. But there are signs, lady, uh, for him living, if you're going to continue that distant relationship that he uh, live in, and some of the signs shall we tell her, Jay? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, there, there are always signs that, yeah. that they tell. But the thing about it, just like we've been talking throughout the show, is we sometimes don't pay attention. We, we make excuses. You know, the, the other one I like to say as we're getting toward the end of the show, uh, that, um, uh, you know, with somebody who wakes, who, who don't get much sleep, at, at night, wake so cranky, you know, aggravated, and all of that, and 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 the thing, the thing about it, we want to, to accept the excuse. Well, I didn't get much sleep, so that's why I'm aggravated. That's why I'm aggravated. No, no, I'm no. cranky. I'm, that don't make you aggravated, I, I, and cranky. Uh, I, I know, I know. I, I got, <laughs> but see, but but. But we, but we, but we even sometimes as people make the excuse. You know, that's what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to trying to set the, this this picture. We make excuses, and many times the excuses are are, are deceptions, and we really can't see a person for or we can't call it like it is because uh, we want to make these these soft excuses like, well, you know, I know, baby, you didn't get much sleep. That's why you so cranky and all that, you know. Uh, or yeah, please excuse me because I, I'm be, being so mean and all that and getting on your nerves because I ain't well, give much sleep. You know what? Sometime, but, but sometimes that could have been, I, I was just sitting up here thinking what she was saying, and mm-hmm. that could have been one of the reasons why he didn't go. It could mm-hmm. be that he wanted to get rid of her. Well, you never know, but I would say... Well, he was glad I, she was gone. <laughs> I, you never know what it is, but I would say, pay, uh, you know, if we just said, pay attention. To the pay, signs. Pay yeah, attention, attention to the signs. To, 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 to the signs. Yeah. Um, we don't know what the whole full case is, you know, what, you know, yeah. of the situation. It could be it, but several different things, um, but there... But the truth is always available to us as to people just like, you know, I was just using that 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 sleeping thing as one. The truth is, it's not that if that, that this person didn't get much sleep because, you know, if that would have to be a foundation, you know, that right. anybody who don't get much sleep could go be going to act like that. Yeah, act like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. that's not a foundation because I know right. I'm not like that. I, yeah, you know, I'm and I know like there's many other people like that. Yeah. So the real truth is that person is just an aggravating you know, noisy person, but not getting much sleep made them be much more of that. They had to be that before yeah. they, you know. So the truth is, they just that kind of person anyway. You just get more of it because they, you know, did not get much sleep because kind of boosted and put a tw- twist on it. But um, so you know, uh, the signs, the truth is always there. We just don't always call it what it call is. It what it is yeah. yeah, we don't always call it, call it what it is. We want to make. So you do these little, these, these little uh, excuses that that are actually deceptive uh, to us really knowing a person for who they really are or what they're really about. And yeah. but we should always pay attention to the signs. Yeah, um, pay attention to the signs. But yeah, being mm-hmm. one person for five mm-hmm. years and then you you get mm-hmm. job move you to another mm-hmm. thing and they don't want to move. Mm-hmm. It, I have a problem with that. Well, but you <laughs> but know, like you said, we don't we don't know the whole case. But right. from what little I hear, right. yeah, he should have he should have moved with you, uh, relocated but, with you. But you know what? That that's that's really for her to to yeah. to, to use her intelligence and the ability that she has been blessed with to pay attention to the signs. That's all. That's, that's the best advice we can say. Because in the end, your choice is what you got to live with, right. and each and every one of us in this life. And so that puts us at the end of this show. And uh, just want to say this one, these, these few things. Um, if, you know, you get on a dating site and you and someone tells you that that 
that they that they are this and that and just all the good stuff and you just and have never seen them before and you take them verbatim for what they said and you said well I trust that you are uh, everything you say you just you might be a little ignorant, ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> And if you get on a dating site and you and, and you out of what we say trust mm-hmm, trust to give out your your information. Not saying that is not that that is not not a bad thing, you know, because I don't like yeah. uh, doing a lot of texting yeah, and listen, messaging. You, yeah. I don't, but but the key word that you trusting a person you don't know. To do the to to do the right thing and the right usage with your number, and especially your address of personal information. That's what it all is. Yeah, personal person information. information yeah. uh, and you trust somebody you don't know. You just you might, might be a little ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we ain't gonna whip y'all up th- th- that much, but y'all 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 just keep tuning in to our show. All right, we love y'all, and uh, we get ready to get on out of here. Lady K, we sorry that you weren't able to to um, uh, maybe keep... we can get a, a next week and yeah. she'll get better reception. Yeah, maybe we have, we'll get her next week and she will hopefully have better. Uh, but we're out of here. All right. Mm-hmm.